Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dora Tapajska International Nail Artisan Educator and today I have prepared an awesome set of the nails for you, absolutely perfect for those winter months, even as some early Christmas nails as well, have a preview of them in here. So classy and elegant, that's what I love the most on my nails, with a bit of bling and I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial. Also, if you're new in here, hit the subscribe button to don't miss any future tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturdays, sometimes more often. We're really trying hard, guys. Also, thank you so much, all of you who are already subscribers, who are liking, sharing our channel, because we are hitting almost 100,000 subscribers. That's so exciting. Uh, so yeah, let's start this beautiful set of the nails. We are going to do this pretty wintery set. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed them, guys. So I've got those nails done and ready for the design and we are going to do the fan just for those of you who are watching it the first time. So we are going to scratch the surface of the natural nail. I like to make sure there is no shiny places. Clean the free edge. Remove the dust, dehydrate with the blue scrub, nice and squeaky clean, and then apply the nail form. So in order to apply the nail form and be able to pinch it nice, I need to trim it quite decent, especially for my thumbs. So cut out the entire first line. I hope you guys are going to really like this uh, this tutorial. Hit the share button so the others can see it as well. I'm cutting out a space for hyponychium because I do have uh, some hyponychiums on my nails. And then we have to pre-pinch it in between the fingers. For um, Because of it, the nails will have a nicer, more narrow shape. And then slide the form underneath. See, if I wouldn't cut it, my nail folds, they are so large that they would really disturb me to squeeze the form nice. Okay, get it straight. And that's them ready for a gel application after dehydrating and prepping it. So extra dehydrator, wait for it to dry. That gives me a time to open the gel and we are going to use the perfect rose. I love it. <laughs> you guys know, like this is my favorite one to be applied without of any mm, color over it. It looks just fantastic on its own. It's not too dark, it's not too light. It's just a medium, perfect shade for my skin tone. <laughs> Okay, wait for the universal air bump to dry and then we are going to pick up a first scoop of the product so nice and thin layer on the one side of the brush this is really important so you don't have mess you remove the product so you have hardly anything at your brush and you can really play it and apply it very close to the cuticle and to the cuticle I want like an extremely thin layer so later on I can completely blend it with the natural nail then pick up a bigger scoop and this bigger scoop is going to go into my um, crucial place like you can see it i'm applying it a little bit thicker here 
just so they are not going to break and then follow the lines which you've got already here on the form that always makes filing easier later on actually fun is probably i don't like doing the thumbnails but it's probably the most comfy needle for recording when it comes to the view so that's me applying the first layer i can cure this needle so it's going to be uh, a 30 seconds cure and then we can pinch it okay so it's a time to pinch it double check that's definitely hard and then apply the pinching clamp at the widest part of your nail so don't apply it too high you want to kind of apply it up there so it's pinched nice and then you can give another 30 seconds cure pinching makes your nails a bit long, uh, stronger stronger <laughs> stronger and also more narrow like i do like when they really uh, really pinch i think it looks just much nicer and it gives it strength as well okay so you can see it it becomes squished and much nicer shape i like to also pinch it from the other side as well after we finish the application another nice and thin scoop so remove the excess of it very thin around the cuticle area and on the sides this is enough product there like I'm almost touching those cuticles without of touching it. <laughs> also, with this small amount of the product, you can easily fill up any way missing bits and pieces. So like I've got a missing corner here. I'm actually going to play with this nail. Fill up the corner there and then apply it through the entire nail. So we can also perfect the side walls here i don't like my side walls too low three edge nice and thin and then we are going to build up the structure so a large scoop of the product like really large scoop of the product release it from the brush and then using as flat brush as possible so do not work only with the tip of your brush the entire brush working we are going to build up our apex one side, other side, one side, other side, and also dragging it down the way. Once you reach the free edge, you can go back and just touch up some places. Uh, but the gel is running to those places. You can see it how nicely it selves level. And give it a cure. So again, we are going to cure it at 30 seconds, and then we can apply the pinching clamp from underneath. Okay, so that's it cooked 30 seconds check if you're happy with the shape if there is any missing places no i'm happy with the shape i can pull the form down you can see it it is nicely pinched um, but we can add it more i'm definitely having a plenty product in so i don't need to apply it anything more i'm just placing those pinching clamp from ups, upside down and then going to cook it actually this one is done And then going to cook it another 30 seconds so that will give me a uh, 60 seconds cure because that's how long the the gel is curing okay so that's how it is applying now that's them cooked so remove the pinching clamp clean the mess remove the inhibition layer from the top and from the bottom as well don't forget that you don't want to be playing with the uncured product grab some baby wipes so we don't make too much mess and then shape it so file one side other side three edge Check it underneath. And then blend around the cuticle area. So these are the movements which I always need to do it. And then once I have done that, I can check if there is any other places I want to touch. This 
see that's what I was talking about when we was putting the product and you don't want to see it where the product is starting okay smoothed the entire surface and then just straighten it up check the length almost there so I'm just going to be very careful now shaping it basically use the buffer and that the nail finished the buffer and just buff everything so nicely around the cuticle area on the sides on the other side and then just smooth it out Just going to touch up the side a little bit more and that's the snail ready okay clean them with the blue scrap dehydrated well and then grab some French gel and a D-liner brush we are also going to use the watercolor brush as well and my mixing pot Grab some product with spatula so it's easier for you to do the nail art. And on the pinky, we'll maybe start with the thumb. So here we are going to paint some French. I'm not too bothered about the smile line because it will be hidden anyway. I'm using the D-liner brush. Watercolor brush and just color that in. Oh. <laughs> you really don't have to make the smile line perfect because we are putting crystals in there. Then we are going to paint it in here. Then color it in. Watercolor brush is great for those larger parts. Okay. 
and the D-liner brush is perfect for the small parts. Gosh, I'm making a mess. this one French again I say don't bother about the smile I end and I spending like such a long time. We don't need to spend long time on it, like it's really just a color we need. Same like on the index finger. And the French in here. So painting those background for our design isn't as hard and it don't need to be as pretty so really save the time on on this part it's hard like especially when you're doing it on the client like even on myself like uh, you know it's so tempting to touch up the smile lines but really we don't have to we don't have to touch up all those places and then she keeps touching it yeah <laughs> no give them a cook that's 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 enough that's absolutely fine we don't need to do anything else in here <laughs> we're gonna leave it alone <laughs> kick them okay that's them all almost cooked so let's move that away grab some base gel and i always securing the crystals with the base gel i was so happy guys to read it in the comments below that since you have tried using the base gel your life become much easier as well when it comes to the crystals uh, so I'm, I'm very happy uh, to hear that so what we are going to do it is now apply the base gel see that's why we didn't have to bother about the smile line so I'm applying a thin layer of the base gel through the entire nail and then grabbing some crystals. Also, all the products I have used, we've got it on the website for you so you can grab it yourself. A crystals, gem pickers, caviar beads, everything we have used in there. So I have started uh, with the larger crystal in the middle and then I'm placing 
two slightly smaller ones on the side and then moving into the smallest ones i've got them actually on i have put some of them on those three so it's easier and quicker because i like when they are just turned um, into the right direction when i'm picking the crystals so much faster Do not uh, over cure your French because we have to flash cure it. The gems, um, I have cured it only a pretty short time. So normally I would cure it 30 to, 30 to 60 seconds. And this time I have cured it only 15 seconds. So we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So I will be placing five. So one more in here and then one more, two more in here, I think. No, that's perfect. Okay, I'm happy with this one. Give it a flash cure. Flash cure is just like a two, three seconds cure to freeze everything. That's it, freeze. And then we are going to place those crystals here. And there. So this time only those medium one and here. And medium one in there. And then the smaller ones. See, and if we would lose too much time playing with those perfect French, it wouldn't matter really because we are hiding it away. Same on this part around the cuticle. We didn't have to spend so much time on it. So here I'm placing three crystals on the side. And then three on the bottom. Oh gosh. Crystal application can be really therapeutic and sometimes when I have no time like to bling up my nails I mean to be honest I love the most the nails which has have the blink like if they've got the blink it just feels like they are my nails the last couple of sets didn't have any blink and it was like even a cameraman said like what is going on with your nails you could eventually maybe do a decent set Oh gosh so I thought I'm going to please him and myself as well like I feel so much better like um, with a nice crystal set and especially when it's freshly done you know the freshly done nails always look so much nicer okay I have moved those crystals and I need to check it now from both direction to make sure it's nice and straight sometimes when I'm like um, working on the tutorials and i'm too close i cannot really see it i like to kind of judge it the look of it in different direction and take a time with it so freeze again really two seconds you don't want to over cure or over cure your french and then another one Am I trying doing two at the same time? So here again, just a medium one because this nail isn't as big as the thumb. Let's do the medium ones here. And there. <clears throat> I used to do a lot of crystals up like before we had channel guys. Um, and I was doing my nails, I would, most of the times, I would apply my crystals in a car. <laughs> so the cameraman was driving and we was going like, I don't know, somewhere. And I would just sit, you don't waste the time. I would just keep applying my crystals in the car. Because it is really time consuming process. 
I'm glad you're still here with me. Hopefully, like, um, you know, you guys know we are doing a new premises search, which is extremely difficult in Fort William. Uh, but hopefully, I will be able to share some good news with you. I don't know, maybe in a week time, maybe in a month time, half a year time or a year time. We will see how long it will take us. Um, but we have to leave our salon. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This one is fab. Do not apply the crystals too close to the edges of your nail. And the reason for it is it will give you like a dos balkil bulky look so i don't want my crystals too close uh, to the side of the nails okay leave those empty space we will fill up with some caviar beads because they are much thinner and they look much uh, prettier so i was also thinking about maybe doing some live video uh, just to keep you updated like what is going on and 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 all um because I believe this advice and the things which happen to us could be quite useful uh, to all of you. Like really, if you're running your salon, uh, I'm just wishing you, you would never be in the same position we are. Uh, because it's quite, quite stressful and uh, it, it could become really damaging to your business like and make you even... I don't know don't exist anymore uh, obviously we we don't give up and we're doing all what we can to survive and i would really never thought of that like i would really never thought of that so yeah i think it will be nice maybe to do the wee live video with a bit of warning to all of you. I'm actually wondering if uh, how many of you rent the space uh, where you're working from. So also for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about is um, we have to leave our current premises which we have been occupying since 2009 so that's like 13 years. <laughs> Uh, we have done lots of uh, insight. There's actually a video on the channel as well, how our salon looks. Um, so we spent thousands, like, you know, roof renovation. We just paid for the roof. Um, third phase electricity. That was a really expensive move as well. Like windows, doors, uh, not to mention all the, all the work which we have carried on inside. And unfortunately, even if we want we to... The room as well. Yeah, we split the rooms, like camera and man spent like hours there, like, you know, mounting all the lighting, like dividing the rooms and everything. Um, we have upgraded the staircase, like it's unbelievable the amount of the work we have uh, put into the building. Um, and it's worth nothing, you know, we just have to leave. <laughs> we just have to leave. Um, and it wouldn't be a big deal if there would be lots of premises available in Fort William. But Fort William is such a small town that there is not many premises available in here. Okay, perfect. We can cook them in. And then we can swap into the caviar beads. I hope, guys, I don't keep you bored with all our travels. It was actually funny October, funny November. Uh, yeah, we had one thing after another thing <laughs> going on. Now I'm just starting to laugh, you know, what comes, it comes. Um, but it was stressful, stressful time. I mean, it is still because we don't know what the future brings. But hopefully I will be able to share good news soon. I mean, stay positive, they say. Okay, so caviar beads, what I did is I have dipped in my brush into the base gel. And now I'm just sliding those caviar beads against 
those empty space I do suggest you do not um, do not have too much uh, base gel on your brush because otherwise the caviar bits wouldn't unstock uh, from it and also when you are dipping it in um, in your pot so let me move the pot I'm not sure how close the camera man is Close. Not as close, good, thank you. <laughs> he even moved his equipment so he's not banging my head anymore. <laughs> he's sometimes terrible, guys, trying to give you best possible view. Take care of you. He's like, no, they have to see it. I was like, no, I have to see it. Um, he comes up with good questions as well. Come on, give me a good question, cameraman. <laughs> what kind of question about the snails? Yes, about the snails. How long will the caviar bits last? Caviar bits will last until Ever. you... Forever. Yeah. I know the answer. <laughs> you know the answer. Caviar bits will last forever if you do them this way. Um, honestly, like it's even so difficult to take them off. Trust me. And guys, if you have tried, like, because I do read your comments, if you have tried a base gel application for the gems, please leave it in the comments if it did work for you as well so the others can see it. Um, you know, I don't like to have, like, um, <laughs> she says that's it, then she's got the desk full of products. I don't... <laughs> Cameraman is laughing now. I don't like to keep too many products on my desks. Uh, not that it is full uh, of it. No, but I mean like a product which I don't and need to have. Well. I know every I've corner. got lots of every, every corner. No, but I imagine I wouldn't use the base gel for the caviar beads application and the crystals application. I would need cameraman a separate pot for a special crystal gel. Can you imagine? So that's the snail's finish. It's so pretty. Those caviar bits. For what? Oh, he don't know. Okay. So for the crystal application, you could use either a base gel or you could use a special crystal gel. You know, like okay. pay pay extra money and order some gel for crystals. Okay. Okay. So we rather to stick with our base gel. Yeah, because we save the money. Yes, of course you save the money. You save the money, That's you say. I didn't know about this uh, special gel. Ah, okay. No, it's no. Uh, we don't get special things. I mean, sometimes we do, but we don't get special things. If we can save the, some money on the, on the products, or if we can use the same product in different ways, we are very happy about it, and we are going to do it. Um, that's even, you know, those five, um, those five uh, paint gels, they are so multi-used that you can like do it anything with it. And that's what we are going to do it today as well. That's you... why we don't we not don't them any more colors because you can mix. Yes, yes, that's why we don't need any more colors. Okay, so here I'm placing again three caviar beads. If you take too much, just separate it. Sometimes it can be difficult to separate it when you've got too much base. Okay, pretty, pretty. Can you see it, how the caviar bits are changing the design? It just looks much pretty. I think I'm going to skip it some, so I don't keep you too I'm bored. It's quite visible, but it's not much visible. It's just really tiny. They are tiny. I love them. I'm, I'm going to show you what other caviar bits we've got. For those of you who, who don't have a patient uh, to play with this size caviar bits, I mean, they are my favorite ones, uh, put it this way, like, I really love them. So let me freeze it, all of them, all of them. Let me freeze it, and then we also got those caviar beads, so you can see it, guys, like, how tiny those ones are compared to the normal size caviar beads. <laughs> Thank you, cameraman. Yeah, so that's, that's a decent difference. Um... They are quite nice as well, depending like if I would do, depending on the art I'm doing, but for a, for those crystals, uh, oh, I was supposed to do two, and I think I put the base gel around this one. Um, I prefer those ones so much. The other ones I was use instead of the crystals, 
or I will do graduated chain like some smaller and the bigger ones but please oh guys so first of all another thing uh, we are hitting to 1000 no 100 <laughs> uh, I'm never good at math 100,000 100,000 subscribers and I'm so grateful for that like I mean I am so happy it again it took lots of hard work dedication to this channel lots of fun it's as well done yet, but very close very very close cameraman very close and we we so happy for it we so happy for your continuing support we are also really really appreciating uh, the channel members thank you so much guys uh, I'm, I'm so happy to have you and and the fact that you are supporting this channel it's mean really a lot to us so yeah hopefully i will be able soon to share the play button with you that's something really really nice some positivity for a change in our life I mean, I'm happy. I'm still lucky, girl. You know, I've got amazing daughter. I've got amazing husband. Mm -hmm. I've got amazing. <laughs> of course, you are amazing. <laughs> and yeah, we have to be happy on what we've got. Okay. Are you happy? Yeah, of course. Mm, I think so. Okay. Come on, see, now they don't want to stick. I think we made the caviar beads application easier and not as boring today for a change. Cameraman is not yawning yet. <laughs> okay, we've got two more, guys, two more to go. Be patient. I'm not going to cut through this video. I'm actually not um, like I'm. We never cut the video. I know we never cut the video. We just go like, like. Just cut when it's in the lamp, to save. A really boring time. time. Boring time if yeah. you need to put anything. Feel concentration so I can speed up the process. And uh, you have to do it in this order, uh, otherwise it would be impossible to do the sugaring. I mean, it will be, but you want to top coat the caviar bits before the sugar part. Now come on, separate. And I have seen it actually some people using um, the gem picker for a caviar bit application. Not a chance, like <laughs> not for those ones. Uh, they are the tiniest ever caviar bits available in the market. But another thing, guys, with those caviar bits, they are uh, metal. You know, they, they aren't like a plastic which is colored in, so they are not going to change the color. And you can go back and check, like, I don't know, some of my other nails, like the nails which have been on for five weeks or four weeks, because I usually walk really long time with my nails on, that they didn't change the color. And the caviar bead stays all the time the same color. Ta -da, last one. So this is when I'm losing a patient and I'm just slapping them on with the hope that this will speed up the process. My eyes even start watering, they're so tiny. I'm going to cry, I need to clean my eyes. They did really start to water. I think this is the, is it the most caviar bits I have put in my nails? Maybe not. Okay, last ones. <laughs> Yay! 
one, one more, one more in that corner here. So I need to drop more of the base. Yay. So pretty. They actually look amazing even just like this. Now we need to freeze it a couple seconds. Let me clean my eye. So I don't cry. There we are. And now we can apply the top coat. Okay, so high shine, no wipe, top gel. Put the caviar bits on the side, on the side. Uh, by the way, guys, if you drop them, use the magnet. I'm going to show, I will close actually. Oh, thank you, cameraman. That's a good tip. I'm going to close that. Uh, otherwise, I will have to remove it from my magnet. So we've got, uh, the, because they are metal, you can see it, the magnet is going to take them. So if you ever split them, or if they are too, too electrized, no, too, if they're running too crazy and sticking to your lid, just kind of remove them. <laughs> I, don't know I don't know good in English. Okay, so remove the thing which is on the caviar beads uh, by using the magnet. The energy. Energy, yeah. And then they, they become kind of heavier and they are not going to jump everywhere. Okay. So, so top coated. <laughs> and then we can paint the snowflakes and do the mini jumper. Uh, so you can see it. they both look pretty but i have dilemma really what i wanted to do it so i'm applying the top coat all over into the first part of the nail you can use small brush if you need to i have just cleaned my large brush and i'm going to go like this another scoop of the top coat I'm just top coating the corner crystal and I'm um, look what I'm doing with my brush I'm really going in between those crystals to make sure the top coat is everywhere and I'm top coating my caviar beads okay first one done next one so I'm top coating my caviar beads one didn't cure. But that's okay. The top coat will just stick at it. And corner, cut the free edge. Not that I need to, it's just a pure gel. Pull the nail folds down because mine are quite large. Next one. I love how the clear gel, like not clear, but how this gel looks on its own. No gel polish. I don't know. It's just so much neater, so much nicer, so much thinner, so much prettier. <laughs> and I could carry on like this. Pull the nail fold down. Next one. I removed the, the excess first of the top coat. Pull the nail fold down. I've got terrible nail folds. And the last nail. So we are going to cure the top coat and I don't want to give it a final cure because we will be curing it again so i don't want to kind of overcook it but at the same time i wanted it to be cured enough remove the fluff uh, so the sugar is not going to stick into any part of that okay so top coat it and then cure it 30 seconds okay grab the stuff you don't need so we don't make a mess so like put it away and then the D-liner brush, where are you? I had it on here. I put it on the side so it doesn't cure. I'm just going to clean the product I had it on there because I wanted it to be nice and precise now. And we are going to paint the design. So maybe let's do it this way. No, leave the thumb at the end. OK, 
Okay, so snowflake first. That was so difficult actually to do it with my left hand, but I am proud of it because it turned out really pretty. So what I did, I did dots and now I'm just going to drag them. What a pretty snowflake. Queen wants sometimes the brush, so it doesn't have too much paint. Sorry. Okay, first snowflake painted that's so easy like really quick and easy snowflake so one more time the placement dot in the middle then bigger smaller bigger smaller so basically you are painting like a cross with the dots okay so once you've got the cross you do one which is in between Then, so you don't get lost, do the either small ones first or those large ones first. Clean the brush. Is it visible? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I got the photos might be not visible. Uh, honestly, guys, um, I think doing a nails on a camera is unbelievably difficult. <laughs> like much, much, much harder. Now I'm going to paint it. I'm going to paint it the jumper nail. So nice and slim. number fours i can't still believe it i done it with my left hand Then the very thin line. So to do the line, I have um, picked the product and I have removed the excess of it from my mixing pad. That was me trying to catch up the breath because uh, when you when you're painting and you hold it, it can become you might become breathless dots okay one more time so number four look how little product i've got on my brush like the less the better Because we, um, if I would paint it too thick, it wouldn't look nice, especially at the free edge. It would make it really bulky. So please remember that, guys, when you when you're doing this design. Now don't don't damage the one which we've got. Sorry, I can't talk when I'm painting the lines. Actually, I can't talk if I want to paint something nice at all. 
because I tend to maybe not hold like yes sometimes hold the bread but more like escalated air like very slowly okay that the thumb should be really nicely visible You can also see it if I'm not talking, I'm faster. And then the dots. Dot, 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 dot. And then the final sugar part. So also some of you say the sugar doesn't last on you, so also you will be able to see it, how the sugar lasts on me. So grab the sugar glitter. And then sprinkle it. See, uh, if you see me doing it on the stands, it was always so much more difficult than do it on the actual fingers. The actual fingers is much easier doing the sugar. So pretty. Now the sugar needs to be cured 60 seconds for this thickness. Okay, so also depending on oh, no, my brush, keep it away from the light. Uh, depending on the thickness of the product. If you apply it thicker, of course, it takes longer to cure it. If you apply it very thin, it takes shorter to cure it. Um, I'm actually just having, a, this is going to be a good question probably for those more advanced nail technicians, <laughs> because there is always so much talk about the lamps, about the curing and everything, and no one talk about the product thickness. Why? I think it's so just crucial. Like, there is no way a thin layer is going to cure exactly the same amount of the time, like a thick layer. That's why I don't give a curing time in my videos as much. Because I cure my products depending on the thickness as well. Not only about their curing time. If I would put the entire tap of the gel under the lamp, there is no way it will cure in, 30, uh, in 60 seconds. And that's the curing time for this product. I hope I have hit it a quite important point. And I'm looking forward to reading your thoughts about it. Uh, because it seems pretty interesting to me. I think I should ask this question adoption. Or like maybe some other people which are really involved in that subject. Now we are going to clean the excess of the glitter to show you those amazing set of the nails oh gosh and he zoomed in again so much to show my <laughs> almost a fingerprint guys i know you love loving those zooms they nice and pretty i love them i hope you guys love them as well I always try to show more than you can see on the eyes of course, camera show more. <laughs> that's why it's that close. <laughs> that's why it's that close. Okay. Because they can see the details. Of course, cameramans love you guys all. Anyway, we both sending you today glittery hugs and bye for now.